I'm Evan. I'm Sam. I'm Bob. I'm Seth. And together you are Sunboats. Sunboats. Yes, sir. I'm gonna bat down in your pretty little brain. Well, we've been playing together for about seven years, the, the three of us have, and uh, Evan joined us two years ago. Sam and Bob and I all went to high school together. We played music in different ensembles. Uh, Sam and I was were in a folk band for a little while. Bob is a tremendously good musician. Got conscripted into playing the bass. have a bass player. Then when he got his new fretless bass, he just picked it up so fast and he has such a good ear, such a fine ear for, for tuning and for, for timbre that he is just able to anchor all the music. from Tucson. Very uh, tight songwriting and we wear some of our regional influences kind of on our sleeve. It's an unpretentious town and there's a lot of energy going on in Tucson and I think that we try and bring that into our sound and that is the, the Tucson sound in our music at its core. It's indie rock and it's very harmony forward. All four of us sing and we sing a lot. When you come into a room with an audience that's maybe expecting uh, an indie band that's got a lot of distance, that's got this sort of just we are very cool, how cool it is that you can see how cool we are. You know, <laughs> that's maybe part of the problem why a lot of indie audiences kind of have the reputation of standing there with the iPhones in their pockets, just not really engaging in the music. But when you come, as we try to, with just those barriers down and just doing really silly I stuff sometimes and just really earnest playing, then you tend to get an earnest response. Yeah. And it's just yeah. lots of fun. The things that strikes me most about Seth, he, more than anybody I think I've ever met, uh, is able to let things slide off and totally unfaze him. That sort of free spirit shows up in such a great way on the drums because he comes up with new things all the time on the fly. Evan brings the ruckus <laughs> <laughs> and just shakes that thing and makes the audience love the set and uh, is an incredibly gracious and humble dude and that comes across when he's just making friends with every single person. <laughs> Thank you.
to be in a place where we can be a little bit offbeat and um, have that be totally acceptable. Uh, and when we go on the road with that, it only becomes clearer how special that is to have in Tucson because there is a certain pretense in some of the places and some of the venues. Man, we're nice. <laughs> <laughs> try to be nice all the time and <laughs> and friendly to people and it feels good to do that. Mm -hmm. Even when Bob and I were singing choirs together in college, I couldn't sit still. Tell us keep the beat on your body or something to make sure you don't speed up or slow down. If I'm gonna keep beat going the whole time, I kinda have to incorporate my whole body. Some of the instruments I use are just not easy to manipulate statically. It's just a lot of fun to get something physical out, it's very cathartic. Sam is a really interesting guy because of all of us, he maybe has the most in-depth uh, musical background. He's been doing it for longer than any of us, and he's got some of the most profound knowledge. I just feel awesome about being able to work with him on songwriting all the time, because there are always these little twists, maybe harmonically. With the structure or just rhythmic figures that are sort of unusual that will just open it up and make it exciting and engaging. One of his biggest influences is Schubert for the harmonic language that we use in this band. It's just hilarious to think about that informing like our punk type songs, but you know, this guy's kind of where he comes from. Oh man, I love Schubert. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. that we are gonna do some stuff that when we first tried it was so silly that we just were grinning or laughing or we couldn't get through it. Bob is, is very silly and, and maybe more importantly like very unafraid to be silly and have fun. promoter. <laughs> it's me, Margaret. <laughs> it's a club owner. can definitely expect that when we come in, we're going to be professional, we're going to be on time, and when we play, we're going to be just totally giving it our all, no matter what the place, no matter what the crowd looks like. Because I'm going to die.
should hire us because we have really, really good music. The most genuine praise I ever get is from somebody who's just walked in and never heard of us before. Nobody ever told them about us. They didn't come with a friend. Uh, and then they stopped me on the street saying, you guys are my favorite local act. If we can get the smokers to come in, then we know we've really, like, <laughs> we've really done a good job. Hey, 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 hey,